The sea is calm tonight. The tide is full. The moon lies fair upon the straits. On the French coast, the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and vast, out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window. Sweet is the night air. Only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon-blanched land. Listen, you hear the grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw back and fling. At their return, up the high strand, begin and cease, and then again begin, with tremulous cadence slow, and bring the eternal note of sadness in. Sophocles long ago heard it on the Aegean, and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. We find also in the sound a thought, hearing it by this distant northern sea. The sea of faith was once too at the full, and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdle furled. But now I only hear its melancholy long withdrawing roar, retreating to the breath of the night wind down the vast edges drear and naked shingles of the world. Ah, love, let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. And we are here, as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. When we talk about life feeling overwhelming, it's like standing on that pebbly shore in the poem, staring out at the sea. The waves come in, then retreat, echoing the uncertainties and changes we face. It's a reminder of how everything shifts and nothing remains static, just like the ebbing tide in the poem. And you know how we cherish our connections, our late night talks and shared laughs? That's the beacon of light in the poem's darkness, the steadfast love the poet finds solace in. Amidst the sea of faith retreating, what remains is the warmth of human connection. Just as Arnold finds comfort in the enduring presence of his loved one. Our friendships, our bonds, they're like the poem's call for truth and love in a world of doubt. The poet looks beyond the changing tides, beyond the fading certainties, and finds something real and constant in the love he shares. It's a reflection of how we, too, find meaning and stability in our relationships, despite the chaos around us. So when we navigate through life's uncertainties, just like the poet standing on Dover Beach, we're not alone. We have each other, our shared experiences, our unspoken understanding. And in that, there's a profound beauty and a quiet strength subtly mirrored in the heart of the poem. That was Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold.